Hey everybody, late video and my neighbor gave me some good tomatoes from his garden and I've decided to make some sauce and I've already boiled these tomatoes before I start this video to save a little taste on time but I run a boil until they're nice and soft to touch and I could wait to go all day with this to break it down but I'm going to hatch these inside of my uh, blender Kind of steamy so I apologize for that get these in there and that's like I said hot to the touch which was to be expected yeah, that's what you expect I'm gonna cap this on being careful and figuring this out go like this sorry for the mess I'm just gonna show you how it come about thus far with the first step of blending, it's still hot. For right now, you'd think it's looking a little crazy, but we're not near done by any means. Now, I'm going to add some olive oil to my supposed nonstick surface here. I'm going to get that olive oil moved around. Had the heat kind of hot, so I'm going to take it down a couple notches. And I'm going to get my onion right over here. Bear with me, folks. I'm doing it all with one hand. And I have these purple onions. So I'm going to get these inside of the pan. Turn the heat down just a slight notch. Get the rest of these onions in here. And I have me a quarter clove of garlic. Use my fork to get that in here. I can use the fork to break that garlic all the way down. Get some garlic. Get that garlic in there. And now I have me some red sweet peppers. So these are red sweet peppers. And they can already toast it. These are actually store bought. I didn't toast them myself. Next time I will. And I'm going to get these picked up with the fork. Fork. There and get all that, nothing wasted here. Yeah. I'm gonna get this set there. Sorry, folks. Get this all mixed about. I'm gonna heat up just a little above. I'll pass it. I'm hoping that everybody's day has been going well. This is the beginning parts of my sauce. I'm gonna get these red crushed, I mean red peppers. Cooked with these pepper onions and garlic. You can cook it to whatever brown you would prefer. I'm trying to get a nice little toasty flavor into my sauce. The sauce is still hot, which is to be expected. While that's still going, I'm going to do a little blending. A little blending. Get some air and 
incorporates into its sauce. And I'll give it a nice stir. I think that's good enough on the color side. Turn that off, get that off here. Get this all cornered. I feel like toasting this with that olive oil is really going to add some love in your sauce, folks. You can choose any way you want, but I most definitely prefer olive oil. Get this cap off here. Be careful. Be careful. Transport this over here. And get that tossed in to your, the tomato sauce. All that's in there. Get the rest. Darn it. Okay. Now be careful on the recap. Yeah. One hand folks and Just to be expected with some residual steam. I'm not done. Now, we're going to take our time, peak by peak. I'm going to add a little, some garlic powder. Not too much of this. Some red crushed pepper. light tiny seasoning I'm gonna shake that about get some more tiny seasoning tiny seasoning get this opened up parmesan I'm gonna go the other route it's better Get me some oregano. A little more oregano. Being careful to not add too much of this. Some salts. Starch. It's a thickener. Starch. I'm gonna take my time to get that back onto here and reblend. Off. Smells amazing, but can't forget a pinch of sugar. Recap, reblend. Ah, it's nice and hot. Recap, reblend, and off take our time with this and off separate spoon and I have my container over here Unplug this so we have no incidents. 
get this turned off. I'm gonna turn the belt. One hand, mind you folks. Sorry for this crazy mess. I'm gonna get this poured about. I like it this way. Add just a little more parm. Ugh, this little spout. Touch the parm. Light Italian seasoning. A drop of salt. One more time, huh? Red crushed pepper. And where are you? Don't fail me now. One oh, last hot rinse. Put that on there. I'm gonna put this up here, folks. Still hot to the touch, which is okay. That heat from the inside with the water I'm about to hit it with is going to create a seal. And I'm going to put this sauce up until I make some spaghetti. Folks, if you like what you saw, please, uh, you know, like, subscribe, share the video. I seriously, Tyrone Fun will greatly appreciate it. And to the next. Also, you should let this cool off after you're done. So I'm about to boil this in some water to create a, a lock and seal. And then after that, I'm going to let it sit on the counter and cool down. And then I'm going to refrigerate until it's ready for use. All right, to the next, folks.